I'm going to be fucking rich. I'm going to be fucking wealthy. I'm going to be the person that I was destined to be. I'm not destined to be a fucking sheep. I'm not destined to follow people every day of my fucking life. If I want to buy that thing on the shelf, I'm going to buy it. If I want to travel somewhere, I'm going to travel. Imagine being a young man, feeling the world is cold. This is me, your immigrant at five years old. This is way before the pro show. I'm talking about a high school dropout, not knowing which way I'm going to go. They thought it was easy. It wasn't easy at all. A father at 17, my problems wasn't resolved. I was locked up a couple of crimes multiple times. There was no hope. I never gave up one time. I started welding, thought I had a career. Bought my first Bitcoin to. 2015 was the year Three years after that I was introduced to the crow At that very moment I knew I wouldn't struggle no more I did my homework Start accumulating some more and accumulating some more. I bought a couple shit coins, reinvested in the Bitcoin. Now I got a multi-million dollar business Many have witnessed that I went from rags to riches and I didn't have to steal I was there when Volcano hit 250 mil I can't explain how it really feels I got another banger on the way For Methium Prodigy I got many people to come along and just follow me While they was buying means We buying technology Waiting for the bull run to hit Now ain't that some shit I'ma be responsible for making so many people rich Off of a couple flips Never forget I told you to buy the dip Never forget I told you to buy the dip There and you fight it in your head sit there and try to convince yourself that oh what if it doesn't work oh oh what 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 if i fail oh, what what if this token doesn't do it what if this happens what if that happens what 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 that's all you that's all you tell yourself those those th those thoughts need to disappear from your mind you need to block those pieces of shit and you need to be like you know what fuck you i'm going to be fucking rich i'm going to be fucking wealthy I'm going to be the person that I was destined to be. I'm not destined to be a fucking sheep. I'm not destined to follow people every day of my fucking life. Welcome back to the channel, guys. This is Pablo Crow. And like always, super bullish on crypto. Now, I haven't been on the show in about probably around two, three weeks. I don't know. It's been a minute. I guess, I guess it's just, I don't know, you know, I've done it so much. <coughs> Sorry, I'm, I got a little bit of a cold, but I mean, I've done it so much the last few years that it's just like, it almost became a chore. You know what I mean? It, it was no longer entertainment. It was no longer fun. So I, I kind of just been taking a break and it's, uh, it's been nice. It's been really, really nice. Uh, you know, the last, last week I was actually, you know, away from home went down to vegas stayed down there the whole fucking week um gamble a little i felt like i felt like i was winning in a shit coin and then i was losing it in another shit coin and by the time the week was over i pretty much didn't make any money and it sounds it sounds like another day a crypto right it sounds like another day one day you're you're doing good tomorrow you're doing bad the next day you're doing okay the following day you lost everything the next day you recover and it's an ongoing battle, right? And it's just like people want to tell you what you want to hear. But when you come to the Crow Show, I tell you the truth, right? I tell you what what needs to be told. And, and a lot of people tend to uh, not feel good about it, right? They, they tend to like um, have mixed feelings because all they want to hear is, me pumping their investment that's all they care about but when it's not about pumping their investment they don't care about it right so it's a very tricky tricky scenario when it comes to uh you know being an influencer especially in crypto i mean i guess if i was opening amazon boxes all fucking day it'd be a different story but but in crypto it's all about emotions it's all about feelings. It's all about, you know, when it comes to money, it's all about the way you're feeling today. If you're making money, if you're losing money. So it's all an emotion, right? So if you want to be successful in crypto, you can't let your emotions control you. That's the, that's the biggest thing. You can't let your emotions control you. 
You can't sit in a voice chat 24-7 talking about a guy that's been gone for four or five months. That's an emotion. You're emotionally attached. That man lives in your head. You cannot stop mentioning him. That type of mentality gets you nowhere, right? You can't you can't join a voice chat when you got 50 broke people trying to tell you how to get wealthy. It doesn't work. We all been there, we all done that. It doesn't work, right? You can't you can't jump from community to community to community because eventually, eventually you're gonna run out of money before you run out of communities. That is also not the way, right? You can't you can't put money on hope. Hope is the biggest weakness in cryptocurrency. Hopium is what keeps you broke. It's what makes you miss the bull run. It's, it's what takes everything away, your opportunity, hope. If you are sitting there at your investments today, and you guys know what I hold, right? I hold... Uh, Ethereum, who doesn't hold Ethereum? You got to hold ETH. Okay, I hold VeChain, I hold Cardano, and I hold PMPY. You know, anything else, I don't even want to mention it, right? Those are my main tokens, my main holdings. The reason why I say you have to know what you hold, because if you're invested in hope, I'm going to tell you this hope is when you don't know what the team is going to do. In the next six months hope is when you don't know what the team is going to do in the next year that's hope you're hoping if if uh, if a team promised you a utility in 2022 and is now 2024 and you still don't have it you're living on hope do you get what i'm saying that's hopium now you have to invest in the future you have to invest in something fresh you have to invest in what what's coming right i didn't i didn't make my millions in in crow by holding crow forever like who thinks like that eventually i had to sell my crow to take my millions that's how it works you buy it cheap and you wait for it to grow and then you sell it it's really not complicated. But see, the, the mentality of investors, I buy today, spend 12 hours, I'm not rich yet. You sell tomorrow. That's not going to get you rich, okay? Or you buy it, you do 100x to the top and 100x to the bottom. That doesn't get you wealthy either. See, you have to understand the balance and when to invest and when to sell invest sell there, there's a that's why you have a a bear market and you have a bull market see in a bull market nobody can call you a g man it's a bull market yeah fuck everybody's making money at least i hope everybody is if you're not making money in the bull run it's because you did something wrong in the bear market right in the bear market is accumulation that's what it is you find early gems you find you find projects that have true potential, and then you take your profits in the bull run. That is the proper strategy to get wealthy in crypto. Now, if you're buying in the bear market, selling in the bear market, you're just a fucking idiot. Okay. That's not how you make money. If you're <laughs> if you're jumping into the bull market and hoping you hit hundred X every day you're also going to fuck up the bull market. See, it's about strategy. You find early gems in the bear market when things are bloody, when things are red, when things are <laughs> going the wrong direction, that's when you buy. That's when you buy. And then when the bull market comes, when Bitcoin hits, all-time high after all-time high after all-time high after all-time high after all-time high, your grandpa is trying to trade his gold for Bitcoin, the, the freaking school teacher is sending Bitcoin letters to your kids, you know, and it's like, that's when you know you're reaching the top of the bull market, right? Now, when do we expect the peak of the bull market to be? Now, theoretically, theoretically, the bull market is about a year from today. Let's say that. Usually, 
April, May, June, the following year after the Bitcoin halving tends to be the peak of the bull market. So that means you got roughly 12 months. Now, this cycle is a little different than last cycle. 2021 was not a super cycle. This right here is what is called a super cycle. This is a cycle that we've been waiting for for a very, very long time. This cycle right here is the godfather. Okay, what does that mean? That means that Bitcoin was going to hit its all-time high early, which it did before the Bitcoin having. It, it burned right through freaking all-time high. Okay, check, check mark, right? That right there... Is a sign of what's to come. Now, what 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 can we expect in the next 30, 60 days? Well, now that the Bitcoin having happened, which congratulations if you survive all the way to here and somehow you're still in crypto, you didn't get rug, you, you survive, you don't fall into that mentality of let's all just hold each other's hands and pray for for for, for hope. Once you get past all that and you're still here, you're still a winner, you still have the chance to make it because. For the next two to two, two to three months, we're going to be going on a slow uptrend for Bitcoin, right? Coming around August, September, things are really going to start to cook up. Things are really going to start to blow up. You might, we might be seeing over a hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin come in September. Okay, we might even see it this summer, depending how things go. Like we're going to see a hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin in the next ninety days. That's just my personal thought. Now. I still believe that the top of Bitcoin is going to be 215,000. Now I'm standing with that. Now I hope that I'm wrong. I hope that it just keeps going. I hope that this fucker goes to four or 500,000 because it has a potential to do with the cycle because this cycle is not like anything else before. This cycle, you have the elites, BlackRock, Fidelity, all these guys coming in, pushing Bitcoin. Okay. You have countries, you have institutions, you have, you name it. Everybody's going to push Bitcoin. So this right here might be the cycle that we see a four or $500,000 Bitcoin. But personally, around $215,000, i am going to be start to exiting the market myself because to me, that's going to be the top following my own plan, my own trajectory. But that's just me. Some of you guys might have to stay a little longer. Some of you guys may get out before me. Some of you guys, it, it, everybody's a little different. Everybody is going to be a little different. But what's most important of it all, you need to understand what works for you, okay? Because your financial situation is different than my financial situation, right? I already made millions. You're trying to make millions, right? It's a whole different ballgame. Now, if we go back 2020, you and me, we're on the same page. I'm broke. Your ass is broke. And we're all just trying to make it, right? So you have to... You have to Set yourself certain targets, set yourself certain goals for this bull market. Okay. Let's say when it hits this target for this coin, I'm gonna, you know, take my five percent, my 10%. When it hits this target, another five, ten percent. You have to have a strategy, okay? Because you 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 can't be that guy that just says, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wait it out and hopefully I can catch the top because nobody ever catches the top. And nobody ever catches the bottom. That's the number one rule of crypto. So you have to understand your own financial situation for your own selfish needs. At the end of the day, look, at the end of the day, you're here for yourself. You're here to be a winner. You're here for your wife, your kids, your husband, your significant other, your family, your financial needs. You're not here for my needs. You're not here for the other guy's needs. You're here for your needs. Okay. You didn't come to crypto to make a bunch of best friends. That's not why you're here. You're here to get wealthy. You have one shot, one opportunity, this bull run, this is it. If you fuck this up, nobody can help you because there will never be another bull run like this one. This is the elite, okay? So get past the emotion. Get past trying to have a best friend on Web3. Get past all that and focus on investing in quality Focus on investing in the future and focus on investing in technology and put that hopium aside. Okay. Hope needs to go. Stop hoping. If you don't know what your debt's doing, you're hoping. If you didn't get a utility a year ago, you're hoping. If you didn't get this a year ago, 
two years ago, you're hoping, right? Don't get stuck in hopium. Invest in technology. Invest in your future. And man, let's get the party started, bro. Let's get the party started. I, I love to go on a rampage sometimes and I, I like to go super crazy. But at the end of the day, we're here for the future, not the past. Okay. And today we're going to talk about AI. Why? Because AI is going to take over. Whether we like it or not, look, man, whether we like it or not, AI is going to take over. That's just what it is. Okay. I know, I know, I know that you want your chicken, your frog, your dog, your fucking squirrel, your monkey, whatever. I know that you want that to be the future. But the idea, <laughs> nobody's going to take you serious ever in the real world. In the real world, you're not going to come up to, to a guy, to your buddy, and say, look, man, I know we've been co-worker for 10 fucking years. I got something very serious for you. Oh, yeah, yeah, what is it? Check out this blue frog. Your co-worker is going to look at you like a fucking idiot. <laughs> like, what is wrong with you? Why are you showing me a blue frog and you're telling me to put my life savings on it? See what I'm saying? But when you say, look, man. Let me show you. Let me show you this this badass mobile application. You know how I've been investing in crypto for a long time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've I, I've been thinking about getting involved. I, I really have been thinking. I just I just don't know how to get started. And you come in and say, "Well, check this out. Download this mobile application." Deet, 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 deet. Your buddy downloads this mobile application. Now you feel like a fucking hero. Now you're like. I just helped my friend get started on crypto because of Prodigy Flip. Or it can be the other friend. So look, Tom, this fucking blue frog's going to send it, okay? You need to take out your 401k. You need to fucking put your house on a mortgage. You need to, you need to sell the kids and go all in on this blue frog or this pet cat, you know? We all been part of memes. We all have. I pff, come on. I promoted memes a long time myself and I made a few bucks. But you know, taking it out to the real world was so hard. It was so fucking hard. Nobody and nobody took me serious. They always look at me like a fucking joke, right? But when you talk about technology, it changes things. It's like, "Oh, everybody loves technology." "Oh, you found the next Microsoft." "You found the next Microsoft." "How? How did you do it?" Oh, well, I'm a fucking genius. That's how I did it. What do you mean? Come on, Tom. You know me, man. You know me. There's a difference between promoting a blue frog to the world and technology. And today we're going to focus on technology because at one point in your entire ratchet life, you have to do something that makes sense. You have to make a smart move. You have to do something the the, the 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 says innovation the says the future <laughs> and that's what we're going to talk about today man because in my mind in my state of mind i believe that promethean prodigy is going to be a big hit it's going to be huge now i know a lot of people get all butt hurt when i say things like that because they're like well i thought you know you were crow with crow well, i was with crow and 2021 sir well i thought you uh you were with this dog thing i was like well yeah i was with this dog thing in 2022 2023 now i'm with technology see i move i move and that's how i make money i make money by moving you don't make money by standing still money's not going to come to you you got to go to it that's what it is you want you want to make seven figures eight figures well you have to find something early enough to make seven, eight figures. Now, if that hurts your feelings, then you are not making seven, eight figures. See, that's what you got to understand. You, you're either on the making it or being mad at people that make it. Which side do you want to be on? You want to be on the winning side or do you want to be on the side that sits there and cries all fucking day? You have to decide, right? You have to decide what you want to do and you have to make moves. Okay. We talk about, we talk about water, right? Fucking water, Fiji. I love Fiji water. 
<laughs> Fiji water is fucking amazing. I recommend that. I never get paid, but I love Fiji water and I talk about it all the time. You go back in time and you look at people that, that, that make smart moves. 50 Cent, for example, right? A lot of you guys know who 50 Cent is, a rapper. Um, the man invested in fucking water and he duplicated his wealth. He's a rapper, but he invests in water to duplicate his money. You get, like, he goes back to the hood and everybody's like, come on, man, what the fuck are you doing with that water? Motherfucker, I'm making money. What do you mean what I'm doing with the water? I'm making money. See, that's smart business. Smart business is what makes you move forward. Now, you come to my channel. I swear a little. I said a couple of bad words. Some of you guys get all emotional and like, man, Pablo, because of you, I have to go to church next week. I have to clean myself. A lot going on, right? But at the end of the day, look, man, I speak how I am in person. You come and talk to me and you meet me in person. This is me talking to you. This is this is a man that welded for 15 years. How can I be a welder for 15 years? How can I be in business of my own for five years and not throw freaking wrenches across the freaking building? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's just what it is, man. I come from, from the blue collar working class, but I'm a man that made it. I'm a man that made seven figures. Do you get what I'm saying? So stop worrying about the way I speak, the way the way I dress, and focus on the stuff that comes out of my mouth because that information is what's going to, to get you wealthy in this upcoming bull market, okay? It's exciting times, guys. I'm telling you, Promethean Prodigy is going to be huge. And, and I know a lot of you guys don't see it. I know a lot of you guys are like, oh, yeah, well, well, I don't know, Pablo. What if it's not real? What if it's not real, Pablo? What if it's like, what if it's like Saitama? Are you fucking kidding me? Do you guys remember the Saitama logo? It was a fucking guy in a dog fucking body. We all knew that shit wasn't real. That's a fucking guy with the dog. Come on. You really thought the dog with the fucking human being was going to be the future? No, man. We're just all having fun. We're all just fucking pushing this fucking wolf pack. And we didn't know if it was real. We didn't know if it was fake. All we knew as the chart was pumping and we were making money. And people are like, oh, Pablo, you supported the wolf pack? Uh, yeah, I made a fucking lot of money. Yeah, I supported the wolf pack. I don't give a fuck what, 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 what's his name? The fucking dude that was always on crack and shit. The one that always talking, Russell. I don't give a fuck what Russell did. I made money because I invested early enough to make money. Okay, we go back in time. Shibnobi, you really thought a Shiba dog dressed as a fucking ninja was going to conquer the world. See what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what I'm saying, right? You always got to look at the logo. You always got to look at the branding. You always got to look at the name. You always got to look at what they're doing, right? Unfortunately, unfortunately, the Cardano community, the Binance community, the Ethereum community, and I'm talking about top investors, the Bitcoin maxis, all these guys were never going to look at the, at the wolf dog with a human being, serious. So it was always going to have a limitation. See, when you, when you want to go heavy on a project, when you want to invest and go all, all in to make fucking money, when you, when you want to win, you need to look at what it's doing, at the way it presents itself, and why is this crypto here? And those three major things are going to change your life. They're going to change everything, okay? When I went heavy on crow, I'm telling you I went fucking heavy. I was literally selling shoes. I was selling old books. I was like, we were eating noodles, rice, and beans. I mean, you name it. We were doing it. The reason why, because CRO, crow, made so much sense to me. Crypto.com, the brand, the name, everything about it was so powerful 
that I was willing to bet my life savings on that name, on that logo. Because that logo, when you look at Crypto.com in the face, that fucking logo tells you billions of dollars. See? You see the difference? You compare the Crow logo with the Saitama logo. It's like night and day. See what I'm saying? And Crow is going to outlive and it has going, has lived so many, so many things. Now, <laughs> people, people get mad of the way I move. Maybe you should consider moving the way I move to live the way I live. That's just the way I see it, right? So, guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you check it all out. Now that we got 102 people on the live stream, what we're going to do is we're going to check out a video, okay? We're going to check out a video. This video got dropped today by the Promethe, or not today, Friday, by the Prometheum Prodigy team. Now, this video right here is exploring the evolution of decentralization through Prodigy Flip. Okay? <laughs> Look at the wording. Have you ever seen Saitama speak like this? Have you ever seen a frog speak like this? Have you ever seen a fucking snake called Snake speak like this? No, you haven't. Why? Because some stuff is here for a short term and some stuff is here for the long term. Now, go gamble all you want. Go make some flips. Go... Go make a few bucks. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, after you make a few flips and a couple of dead frogs, a couple of fucking turtles and chickens and dogs and cats and shit, once you make a little bit of money, move it into a potential blue chip, a low cap gem that you can see people in the top 10 and the top 20 cryptos actually investing into it because they, they respect what they're bringing to the space. They respect the plan. They respect the future of that project, right? When Polygon, Polygon was going up, you know, it had a lot of fun in the early days. But it's at the point today where it's respected. It is respected. You know what I'm saying? So understand. Understand how it is. Understand the trolls will always come to my chat, to everybody's chat. The sheep will always try to be loud, but the sheep will never speak of the language of a lion. They never will. So you have to decide do you want to be a sheep or you want to be a lion. What do you want to do? You choose. It's your choice. It's your choice all day long. Okay. Now let's watch this video, man. This fucking thing is awesome. Uh, hopefully it plays it well here. If not, we'll watch it on the YouTube because they also posted it on a YouTube channel. But let's watch it. Let's uh, zoom it in. Oh, that is it. All right, let's check it out. Hello, everyone. This is Proxy. Today, we're exploring fascinating news for cryptocurrency enthusiasts. There's a brand new app on the market called Prodigy Flip, and it's by far the most exciting application we've come across in this niche in a long time. Now, it goes beyond what a mainstream crypto app has to offer. Prodigy Flip is a comprehensive suite for all things crypto, offering a power-packed set of powerful features and functionalities to streamline your digital asset experience. Let's dive into some of these. So, Prodigy Flip comes with five core features, number one is blockchain integration, Prodigy Flip integrates seamlessly with various blockchains. This means you can trade cryptocurrencies securely and transparently across different networks, blockchain technology ensures tamper-proof transaction records, giving you complete peace of mind. The second core feature is having smart contract implementation, Prodigy Flip uses smart contracts to automate and execute trading transactions based on predefined conditions you set. The third feature is a must-have, two-factor authentication. See, security is the topmost priority in the crypto world, and without that, there's nothing. Prodigy Flip comes with two-factor authentication, 2FA, 
as an extra layer of protection with 2FA enabled. Only authorized users with their login credentials and a unique code can access their accounts. The fourth feature is having access to real-time data feeds. Prodigy Flip provides comprehensive market data, including up-to-the-minute price charts, trading volumes, and historical data analysis. This equips you with all the information you need to make smart decisions. Last but not least, Prodigy Flip offers cross-platform compatibility. Prodigy Flip is available on both iOS and Android devices. This ensures that many users can participate in decentralized crypto trading. Now, we've personally used Prodigy Flip and were quite impressed by its performance, scalability, and user-friendliness. While there are many good things to say about the application, there are three convincing reasons why you should give it a try. Number 1, Prodigy Flip consolidates all your crypto needs into one convenient app. And oh, more switching between platforms, manage your trade wallet and utilize the AI assistant within a user-friendly interface. Number 2, it offers exceptional security. By capitalizing on blockchain technology, the app prioritizes the security of your digital assets by keeping you in control of your private keys. And number three, it's very smart. The creators of this app have utilized AI to keep increasing its learning curve and facilitate users with market insight. However, it's important to remember that cryptocurrencies are inherently volatile and the AI bot should not be solely relied upon for trading decisions. All in all, Prodigy Flip will be your crypto trading companion for the rest of your life. Let's build community with Telotalk. Now, if you really pay attention, man, like there's so much information on this video. So much, okay? Tons of information. And you really need to take the time to sit there and listen, okay? Because look, Promethean Prodigy is not here for a short term it's here to really change the space is really it's here to really make a difference in the way everyday people trade every day okay now when i when i made my my thumbnail okay let me go back to that because i want to talk a little deeper on that okay We'll, we'll, we'll go back to try to break down a few things. When I made this thumbnail right here, it was I added the MetaMask logo, um, the Coinbase logo, which is the Coinbase wallet. Okay, obviously, if you know the difference, the C is the logo for the actual app, and the circle with the square is the logo for the Coinbase wallet, and then obviously Trust Wallet. Now, these three right here are the top three wallets. And cryptocurrency today now what's really crazy is metamask is still the most used decentralized wallet today okay even though coinbase coinbase is literally the top two biggest exchanges in the world somehow metamask is still bigger than a coinbase wallet and trust wallet which is even crazier Trust Wallet, Trust Wallet um, is, you know, Binance is behind Trust Wallet. And it's still not number one. You get what I'm saying? So MetaMask is number one for one reason and one reason only. It's because of the brand and the fact that it was the first of its kind, right? MetaMask was the first of its kind. And therefore, it's like the most well-known. Now, you talk to gamers, you talk to, you know, other communities that hardly know anything about crypto. They just know just enough. The first thing they're going to tell you is like, oh, yeah, I use MetaMask. I, I download MetaMask and I, I do some crypto stuff on there, right? So those three are the biggest decentralized wallets. <laughs> now, what's really, really wild about those three right there is they're they're all almost identical they're very similar like if you really look at trust wallet it's basically just a copy and paste from metamask coinbase a copy and paste from trust wallet and they kind of all have a little bit of difference but overall they're pretty much the same you get what i'm saying but that's what's available like i use all three of them today a lot of us do 
a lot of us, you know, use a ledger as well or a Elipal, which we'll talk about Elipal here in a little bit. But overall, these three wallets are the most common wallets. If I were to ask you today what wallet to use, you're probably going to tell me one of these three. Now, was what there's there's I wouldn't say there's anything wrong with them, but they're old technology, right? MetaMask was built in what 2016. So we got eight years of technology since MetaMask was created. Now, in these eight years, technology has advanced a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, right? So hackers today can easily hack your MetaMask. They can easily hack your Coinbase and your Trust Wallet because it's old technology. Now, you can't fight, fight new security, new hackers with old technology. You can't do that, right? It just doesn't work. Now, Met, uh, MetaMask is public information, right? It's information that you, if you're smart enough and you're a coder and you have some kind of knowledge, you can actually go and you can download all the information of MetaMask, everything that it was built upon. You, you'll know everything. Now, what is... How do you hack a wallet? Well, you reverse coding, right? What does that mean, Pablo? Well, reverse coding means that you can, you basically, you build an app and then you reverse it and then you find loopholes, you find windows, backdoor entries on how you can access those wallets, right? Hackable because it's public information. Now, Prodigy Flip is being built by a company in California and it's private information, right? Because it's a company, it's private, okay? Meaning that when Prodigy Flip comes out to the world, nobody's gonna have the coding. Nobody's gonna know how it was built. Nobody's gonna know anything. So when you don't know how something was built, it makes it a lot harder to hack something that you don't understand. You get what I'm saying? Because coding at the end of the day is ones and zeros. That's all it is. And it's a, it's a pattern. And if you don't know the pattern, doesn't matter how smart you are, you don't know the fucking pattern. So how are you going to reverse a pattern that you don't know? You see what I'm saying? That's going to be one of the major big difference between MetaMask, Coinbase Wallet, Trust Wallet, and Prometheum Prodigy, Prodigy Flip, right? Prodigy Flip completely private completely confidential now there's a lot of things that are going to be super super exciting with prodigy flip when you when you compare them to what's available in the market now for 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 example none of these guys have ai assistant none of them none of them can there's no support there's no way to to guide you through crypto nothing right so MetaMask and in a trust wallet, they don't have limit orders. So what what, what is a what is a limit order power, Pablo? I know that Coinbase. I think they just started limit order, but the other two don't have it. So basically, limit order is when you buy at a certain price and you sell at a certain price based on your early targets. So for example, you say, "Hey, I want to buy this at a penny." So when it dumps to a penny, buy it for me. When it goes up to five pennies, sell it for me. That's limit orders, right? Right now, if you're in DeFi, if you're in DeFi, you have to use Unibot or you have to use Maestro or you have to use some other knockoff uh, Telegram bots, you know, to be able to do limit orders, right? Now, the only problem with, with the bots is that they're running based on telegram technology that's been out for years technology this this full of scammers i mean telegram is known to have the most fucking scammers in a social media platform ever the goat of scammers is in telegram right so the technology built on telegram is very unsafe it's very scary and very risky so you look at that now we talk about Coinbase just recently uh, adding limit orders, which is good. But now we go to the other thing, right? Cross-chain compatibility. And what does that mean? That means that I no longer have to go. 
I no longer have to download a Solana wallet. Um, I no longer have to download a Cardano wallet or another wallet from Binance. Um, have all these different wallets to be able to buy it in that blockchain. Cross chain is going to be all the top blockchains are going to be integrated into Prodigy Flip. Therefore, if you let's say you you want to buy a, a shit coin that came on Solana, call fucking you know a Turbo Dog. You want to buy Turbo the Dog, Turbo the Dog came out on Solana, but you got to sell your Blue Pepe uh, on fucking Coinbase or I mean on on Base. I don't fucking know. What it means is that in the same wallet. You're going to be able to switch between blockchains without ever leaving the wallet, without ever leaving the security of the within that wallet. So if I were to show you today, how do I how do I run my crypto? I have like 20 applications, 20 applications to run my everyday crypto. Oh, when I do this, I go to this app. When I do this, I go to this platform. Oh, when I do that, I go to that platform. When I do this, I go to that platform. And every time you're jumping between platforms, you put yourself at risk because now you're moving money to another platform, to another platform, to another platform, to another platform. And it makes things really, really scary, right? The Prodigy Flip, it's all going to be there. If you want to buy the freaking Turbo, the dog, hey, buy it right there. You want to jump over to something that came out on Binance called the Sheeps will sit in a VC and cry. Guess what? You can buy it right there in Prodigy Flip. If you... If something else comes out, call, you know, monkey shit Enu on another blockchain. Guess what? With Prodigy Flip, you're going to be able to buy it there. Now, think about everything that I talked about. Limit orders. Okay. Without Telegram. Thank God. Okay. Two, um, blockchain integration and, you know, uh, what's that? What's that? Cross chain. Okay. Three. Security. Let's talk about security. Those three things are major. Security, cross-chain compatibility, <laughs> not including artificial intelligence technology that grows smarter every fucking day. Those three don't have it. They don't have it. Now, you know what they say, you know, when something's free, it's not always the best option, Right. What's the beauty about what's going to what's going to be going on with Prodigy Flip is only going to be used by real investors. It's only going to be used by people that are actually here to make money by real investors. Something that you don't have in the other three. And the other three, anybody, man, you got you can anybody can make a fucking wallet. They can use all their services. Um everything right prodigy flip is designed for only quality investors okay and what's the beauty about that is that it's going to create revenue <coughs> <clears throat> sorry give me a minute guys it's going to create revenue revenue that is going to buy back the chart and burn the supply now let's talk about that for a minute because that is super important now Obviously, I encourage you guys to watch that video. It's on the Prometheum uh, page. I did add it to the description below, the website, everything. Um, let's talk about let's talk about revenue. Okay, what do we know about about these three right here? MetaMask. You can't invest in MetaMask. There's no way to invest in it. Okay, there's no token. There's no blockchain. There's nothing. It's just a store, a storage. That's all it is. You can't invest in it. You can't do anything with it. So if that thing does really, really well, if it does a trillion dollars of volume, it does nothing for you. It doesn't benefit you. It makes you no money. Coinbase wallet, same thing. They don't have a coin. They don't have a token. So if that thing does a hundred billion dollars in volume, guess what? It does nothing for you. It makes you no money. Okay. Trust Wallet actually has a coin. Trust Wallet has a coin in the top 200. I think it's like rank 150. Now, Trust Wallet is already sitting around a 500 million market cap, the coin itself. So you can actually invest in the Trust Wallet coin, which is good, right? It's good. You can invest in the coin, and if it ever pumps, you make money, right? But Coinbase, or I mean Trust Wallet, it's free, right? And all the fees that they make on, on you trading on Trust Wallet, who keeps it? 
the developing team. All of it, hundred percent. They don't even give ten percent back to the community. They don't. They don't do shit. They don't have reflections. Nothing. Like the team just keeps the fucking money, right? So you can invest and hope it pumps, but it doesn't really benefit you as a holder. It doesn't do anything. Now, Prodigy Flip is connected to PMPY, the Promethean Prodigy token. Now, what what, what you need to understand about that. Okay, Prodigy Flip is going to be subscription base. It's going to be, I think, around ten bucks. I think that's what they said, ten dollars a month, and you're gonna have unlimited services with Prodigy Flip, sniping bot, AI, chart analysis, <laughs> real life data, all the information you need to know about about crypto. Is going to be in Prodigy Flip. You're no longer gonna have to go to Coin Market Cap if you don't want to. You're not gonna no longer have to go to Dex Screener or fucking Dex Tools if you don't want to. You're no longer gonna have to, you know, use those risky ass Telegram bots. You're no longer gonna have to like hope that this MetaMask wallet saves your money. You know, you don't have to do any of that because everything is going to be integrated into Prodigy Flip. Therefore, you never have to leave that application if you don't want to is literally going to be built to be a one-stop shop okay all your trading or everything is going to be there everything okay your 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 protest card the way for you to spend your your crypto in the real world is going to be in there so now so now you don't have to you don't have to you know use DeFi cards if you don't want to because a lot of them, you don't even know who the fuck's behind them. You don't know who the real developer is. Well, I, I pretty much do. And I use them all the time. Like, they're they're okay. But everything is going to be integrated in here. You get what I'm saying? So you're going to have the Visa in here. You're going to have the sniping, the AI. Everything's going to be integrated into Prodigy Flip. So when I talk about the future, okay, when I talk about the masses coming into crypto, you're going to have two choices. <clears throat> Tell people to download 20 applications, uh, to use 20 browsers, to download Telegram, and to use Twitter, and to do all these things, and and, and try to figure it all out, all this fucking mesh, and to be, learn how to trade and be an investor in crypto. Or you're going to tell them, you know what? Fuck all that noise. Download Prodigy Flip. That's going to be your two choices. Now, you can sit there, and you can be mad all you want about not liking Pablo Crow or the way he moves. Doesn't fucking matter. We're here for, for Prodigy Flip. The reality is that you as an investor know you need Prodigy Flip. You, you're hoping that this shit is real because you need it. The other day, I'm using Trust Wallet and I couldn't even use Uniswap on it anymore. I, I can't get Uniswap to work on Trust Wallet anymore. Okay. People say, well, use this Kishu swap. You use Boost, all this. And I don't even know who's behind these projects. And I'm trying to use their swap, right? And it's like, I'm scared. I'm scared to use these random fucking swaps built by meme coins. It's fucking freaky. You get what I'm saying? So whether you like it or not, you know that I'm speaking the truth. You know that all those wallets have issues. You know that you wish... That everything that I'm saying, it's true. You know that you're praying that it's true. Even though you don't like me, it doesn't change the fact that you want this to be real so you can make fucking money in crypto. Because with AI and sniping algorithm bot, you will make money in crypto. Because you won't be able to lose. You won't be able to get rugged. You won't be able to get screwed because the AI is going to help you make money every fucking day. Now. If the AI is helping you make an average of $500 a day, are you going to be mad that you're paying $10 a fucking month in subscription? Are you really going to cry about it? Fuck no. You're, you're not going to care, right? Now, we're talking hundreds of millions of users. Hundreds of millions are using these three wallets right here. Hundreds of millions of users, okay? Hypothetically, let's say Promethean Prodigy 
delivers the ultimate DeFi wallet. Hypothetically, right? Uh, I'm heavily invested. I believe they will. Hypothetically, they do. In the next six months, they uh, they don't take over the fucking space. Let's just say they gather a million users to use Prodigy Flip every month. Okay, a million, just one million out of the hundreds of millions of users. One million. Okay. One million times ten dollars a month is ten million dollars. Now, right now you're thinking, like, yeah, that's not that much, man. I fucking see Uniswap do like ten billion dollars a day in trading volume. Yeah. Okay. What does that do for you? Not a fucking thing. Nothing. It does nothing for you, right? Prodigy Flip revenues $10 million. The team said that they would use at least 10% of whatever Prodigy Flip makes every month to buy the chart and burn the supply. Now, let's talk about buying the chart and burning the supply, okay? These three coins don't do that. Uniswap doesn't do that. The top 100 doesn't do that, okay? Prodigy Flip will be buying the chart every month forever and burning the supply, okay? $10 million a month, $1 million will come to the chart. Now, think about this for a minute. What? Are, how, many, how many people have to buy PMPY today to buy a $1 million dollars? of the token a thousand five thousand people think about that okay a million subscriptions will do that in a heartbeat now the beauty of it is that buy will come on the chart pump the fuck out of the chart because a million dollars is gonna pump the fuck out of it god can name it whatever straight to the top and then you're going to have all your little jeets, doo -doo 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 right? Take their little profits. And then next month, again, oh, but this time is more because we have more holders. $1.2 million buy. Pump the chart again. Burn the supply. Next month, next month, next month, next month, next month. They're buying the chart. They're burning the supply. 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 In the meantime, your chart is pumping. Your reflections, because Promethean Prodigy offers reflections, are going off the fucking balloons, you know. Pfft. Unlimited reflections, unlimited buybacks, and unlimited burns, okay? How do you want a chart to pump if you're a developer? How do you do it? How do you do it if you're a developer? How do you pump a chart if you're a developer? You create a utility that makes you money, that everybody loves, that brings in revenue, and you pump your own chart. How do you think Solana went from $9 to $200 recently? It wasn't because all of a sudden everybody started wanting to buy Solana. It was because the team pumped the chart. Do you understand what it means to have a team with money? When you have a team with money pumping the chart, it will never struggle. Because even though people sell, guess what? Hey, man, the end of the month's coming, boys. The team's going to buy you up. Fuck you. Think about that. We're going to replace so many people that were early. It's game changing. It really is. It, it, it's, it's so huge. And everybody wants Promethean Prodigy to not be real, to be a failure. They sit there in a boys chat and they giggle and they cry because they hope and they pray to baby Jesus Raptor that this is not real. But when this comes out and it becomes a reality and the people start to use it and the first buyback and burn happens, I don't care if it's $25,000. I don't care if it's $100,000. When the first buyback and burn happens, the entire DeFi sector is going to stand still and they're going to look to the side and be like, holy shit, the Promethean Prodigy team is a real 
fucking deal. And everything they said, everything they said about this team, everything they said about this project, everything becomes irrelevant. The sheep get silenced and the project becomes innovation, the future. And before you know it, you and as an investor will pay the 10 fucking dollars because you love the application. You make money in the application and you're supporting your reflections and you're supporting the project that's going to take care of you for a very, very long time. Now, let's talk about the next bear market. Well, Pablo, what if what's going to happen? I mean, eventually it's going to peak out and eventually the bear market is going to come and eventually this and eventually that. And I'm going to scratch my head and be like, look, man. I'm not going to lie to you when this thing sitting at dollars, I'm going to take profits myself. Yeah. But I'm not a full fucking idiot either. Either I'm going to leave plenty of fucking tokens in this project. I'm going to tell you why. Because this idea with Prodigy Flip, this idea will work in a bull market and it's going to work in a bear market. Because I'm not going to stop my subscription just because Bitcoin went to shit. I'm not. You're not. The, the, the person next to you is not. We're still going to continue to trade every fucking day because we do it every bear market. So Promethean Prodigy team, utilizing Prodigy Flip, they're going to continue making revenue. And as long as they continue to make revenue, they're going to continue buying the chart and burning the supply. We're talking about a supply that's already a 500 million. 500 million. That's it. That's how much Solana has. And Solana hit an all-time high of like $400. Do you understand that you're looking at innovation at the future if something so fucking big that could change the life of anybody that's watching this video today? It really could. It really could. You're sitting there holding your NFTs, hoping that one day my fucking NFTs will grow in value. I try the NFT game, and you know what? It's a waste of fucking time. I have tried the frogs, the cats, the dogs, the chickens, the monkeys. I made a few dollars, but none of that ever changed my life. What changed my life was innovation. Crow. And Promethean Prodigy is innovation. I'm telling you, it's fucking innovation. And when this thing becomes a reality, and it will, it will. Because look, if I wasn't so confident, I wouldn't put as much money as I have into this project. I wouldn't sit here and only talk about this project. When you got all this other shitcoin influencers charging thousands of dollars to tweet some garbage ass, busted ass, fucking broken down neck raccoon. Every day making money and you go buy that garbage. I sit here and talk about permitting Prodigy. That's it. That's it. I don't need to be talking about anything else because this one right here is going to make me more money than the next 1,000 coins another influencer talks about. I'm telling you, Prodigy Flip is going to be a game changer. And a lot of you guys don't understand the importance of the technology. I, I know you. I know it's a little complicated because you've been in DeFi long enough. You know what I mean? But when you're talking about mass adoption, and getting your your neighbors, your coworkers, your uh, your friends into DeFi. If you have these four choices on the screen right now today, you're ten out of ten. You're always going to pick Promethean Prodigy because it makes sense to promote that over anything else. And guess what? Prodigy Flip will not require you to hold Promethean tokens. They won't. Anybody can. It doesn't matter. Anybody can download the app and subscribe to the application. Anybody will. <coughs> so naturally, after they find out that you can actually buy a token for this app, naturally, people are going to invest in it without being pressured, without saying, oh, if you want that service, you need to buy this much tokens or you don't get it. No, look, man. At the end of the day, the Promethean Prodigy team is here to build an ecosystem, an ecosystem that's going to revenue money, and the token is just there for people like you and me to make money in it. That's all it's for. 
That's all it's for, right? Why do you think they got reflections? Why do you think the team hasn't even fucking used their taxes money yet? Why do you think all this is? Because they have the money. They have the funds to fund the project out of pocket because they already made money in the space. They already know what the fuck they're doing. They already know what the space needs. The space needs this. AI is going to be the future. MetaMask might have been the first decentralized wallet. But Promethean Prodigy will be the first artificial intelligence decentralized decentralized wallet the first of its kind the first if you don't understand what that means to be the first of your kind that's why you don't make money that's why you missed out on great opportunities <laughs> that's why you don't win all right man let's uh let's talk about one more thing before we go today it's been a solid one hour um at the end of the day look Invest in whatever the hell you want. Do whatever you want to do. Buy whatever you want. But don't sit there and and hope. Okay? You can't just hope, man. You have to have facts. You have to have data. Why are you buying this? Why are you still holding this? Sometimes you got to take a loss somewhere else to go take a win somewhere else. It's what it is. You can't just sit there on a loss, on a loss, on a loss forever and ever and ever. The bull market comes, Bitcoin hits a new all-time high, and you're still losing. That's not good. If you're if you're losing right now, you're in trouble. You're fucking losing right now. When Bitcoin already hit $74,000, you shouldn't be losing, okay? Find innovation, find technology. And before we go, we're going to talk about one last thing, okay? Make sure you guys watch this video, man. Watch it. I'm telling you, sit there and study it, okay? First of all, the bot has a name. Her name is Protsy. Protsy. P-R-O, Prots, T-X-Y. P-R-O-T-X-Y. Okay, that's the name of the bot. Protsy. Think about that. Hello, Protsy. How you doing, Protsy? What's up, Protsy? Hello, Protsy. Right? Pretty bullish fucking name. Um... The other last thing I want to talk about before I go, make sure you guys check out the Elipel wallet, man. So go to Elipel. Let's see. Where the fuck is Elipel? All right. The Elipel official page. Let's see. Share this tab. Okay. When you're here at the Elipel page, go to search. Okay. <laughs> this is so fucking bullish. Type in PMPY. Okay. Check this out. Boom. Boom, bitch, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get, get out of the way. Okay. Ta-da. Ta-da. You can order yourself a Promethium slash Elipel wallet. Okay. Now, I was really bullish about this partnership. Okay. I was really bullish about this partnership is that they even change the logo. Look at the how cool this fucking logo is, man. Look at this. Look at this. Okay. Ellie Pell fucking use the, <laughs> the proxy face and it added the big E for Ellie Pell. Okay. That's fucking crazy to me. Okay. Ellie Pell is worth. Like 120 million, 150 million dollars as a company because it is a company. They they sell a product. They're a company. Okay, they're worth 150 million. And I'm not talking about some busted ass ratchet freaking frog market cap 150 million with like 200k in liquidity. No, I'm talking they're worth a hundred plus million of a hundred plus million liquidity value okay that's a big company it's a big corporation it's the number one cold storage wallet in the fucking world today it's safer than the ledger it's safer than any other wallet in the market it's number one and they changed their fucking logo for Prometheum Prodigy. And I want you to think about that for a minute. Why would Elipel go above and beyond 
for this token? Is it because they got a few bucks? Really? Really? Let's think about <laughs> Let's think about this for a minute. A company that's worth 120, 150 million dollars with over a million users, 1.5 million users took $5,000 payment to change their logo and change everything. See how dumb that sounds? Pablo, what if they took $50,000? Really? You're thinking a hundred plus million dollar company would change their logo for 50 grand? Well, what about a hundred grand? hundred grand? hundred million dollar company? That may be a million dollars. Maybe. Yeah. But who the fuck paid a million dollars? Who paid it? Who the fuck paid a million dollars? It wasn't me. Because I know that tax wallet hasn't sold a goddamn thing. It wasn't me. It wasn't you, the develop the, the, the investor that's getting reflections every day for every buy and sell and every transfer. It wasn't you. So how did this partnership become a float with the number one wallet that has never, ever, 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 ever partner up with anybody? In the last six years of existence. And you want to you want to tell me that Prodigy Flip is not coming? You want to tell me that this is not real? But somehow, some way, Ellie Pell believes in this product. Somehow Ellie Pell believes in PMPY. Somehow a big corporation like Ellie Pell changed their fucking logo. For Promethean Prodigy. But you're sitting here believing a bunch of broke-ass people in a voice chat crying about their feelings over a company that's worth a hundred plus million dollars. And you wonder why you don't make it. And you wonder why you don't make it in crypto. And you wonder why you have to go to work tomorrow. Sometimes you have to think a little, guys. Sometimes you really have to put the dots, connect the dots, and understand that you're looking at something so big here, so massive. Six months from now, a year from now, I probably won't even be doing YouTube anymore because honestly, I do this shit for free, man, and this takes time and effort. And it's like, I'm too fucking rich for this, okay? I do it to help out a few people, and I'm going to tell you why. I do it to help out a few people just so I can earn my wealth. So that God, my God that I believe in, knows that I gave back to the world and that I earn my money and deserve to keep it. That's why I do it. My goal is to break a thousand millionaires <coughs> this cycle. That's it. It's my only goal. A thousand millionaires. If I come short and only break 998, hey man, I tried. Okay. If I go above and break a million one hundred or a thousand one hundred, hey, I did good. Right. And when this happens, and when a lot of people get rich on this project and a lot of people make money and all this stuff happens, then I can carry on with my own free life. Okay. Guys, this is Pablo Crow. Make sure you guys follow the Promethean Prodigy page. Before we go, we'll do one last thing and talk about the chart, okay? First of all, what are we looking at right here? This is this are daily candles, okay? This is, this is every day since existence, since it was born, okay? Every, every day. Now, what's really good about this chart right here is that, you know, you, you have your little ups, your little downs, your little ups, your little downs, blah, 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 ups, downs, ups, downs, ups, downs, blah, 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 ups, downs, ups, downs, right? Okay. For the last, what is it? Let's zoom in right here. Okay. The last uh, three, six, seven, eight, nine days. And it's been, you guys know, it's been a brutal nine days. Okay. A brutal nine days. With everything going on with the Bitcoin having people buying the rumors, selling the news, everybody saying Bitcoin's going to dump to 30K after the having all that stuff. 
fucking war happening, all this stuff. Of course, we had some rough nine days. Um, but it's just chilling, man. It's holding a nice little floor right here. And before you know it, the market's going to pump. Before you know it, summer will be here. Before you know it, Prodigy Flip is live. Before you know it, the team is buying up the chart and burning the supply. Before you know it, this thing's worth a hundred fucking dollars a coin. And before you know it, I say my goodbyes, my good riddance. I'm glad you all made money. Fuck you guys. I'm going to go travel the world. That's it. So guys, have fun. Order yourself an Elipel and best in technology. Make sure you watch the video over and over and over and over again to understand how bullish this project is. And we'll see you guys on the next one. KFC Bullish.